What's up, Internet? It's time for another Battle Box Breakdown, and this is Mission 56, and I'm eager to get into this. I've been waiting a long time for a couple products in here for you guys to get, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy everything in the box. So let's jump on in to 56. So as always, I got our mission card here, Mission 56. We've got the basic advanced pro and pro plus levels, the uh, values of each level, and the values of each item in each level. And on the back, as always, we've got the write-up. So be sure to read that. It tells you about each one of those items, what they're used for, any particulars about them you may want to know, yada, yada, yada. So let's start off with the basic box. So first up in the basic box is a Bushcraft grill. Check that out from Hellfire. Hellfire Bushcraft Grill. It comes in this really nice wax canvas case right here. And you get two of them. These things are really cool. So you can set these up pretty much any way you want. You can set it up on a couple bricks, some rocks, some wood, just set it over some coals, anything like that so that you can grill fish, or steaks, or vegetables, or whatever you want in camp. Also, it works great to set your, set your cups and your pots on so you can heat those up to cook your, you know, um, your backpackers pantry meals or anything like that. So you can use this as a, as a surface. It's real sturdy. And the cool thing is they're very easy to clean. So you can just go down by a creek or any water source or, or what have you in camp, clean these things up, let them dry. They'll dry really quick because it's, you know, it's wire mesh and uh, slide it back into a little carry case right there. And it's ready to go for the next vittles that you're gonna eat in camp. Really, really cool right here. I dig that. Nice, small, compact. I believe they're like uh, six by 11 each. So works really well for fish. If you like to fish like I do, you can cook up your fish right there in camp and have you some fresh fish in camp. That's freaking awesome. If you haven't done that, now you got a reason to try it. So next up to go along with helping you out with this is a book, all right? A camp cooking book. This thing right here is really cool, packed, full of information and information that doesn't have anything to do with cooking. It's about being out in the wild, being in the wilderness, or some survival aspects in here. Great way for you to learn different recipes, how to properly cook food when you're out in the wild, different methods of cooking food while you're out in the wild, from anything from hunting, fishing, to trapping, um, making a campfire, different types of campfires you can make that aid in cooking versus just heating and stuff like that. It's very, very, very good book. It's got really good illustrations, nice big letters for guys like me that squint a lot when we read. Recipes in here. Sourdough pancake. I can get on some of that. Cooking techniques, how to judge your heat level. So some of the contents in here include uh, meat, uh, a source of complete nourishment. So it talks about it's not just about recipes. It talks about different types of meats, different types of proteins, different types of animals. You got shore lunch. So this is stuff that has to do with fishing. You got foraging and gathering. You've got um, you know, ways to eat healthy while you're out, different types of utent utensils, carrying methods, um, outdoor ovens, cooking over an open fire, using a wok, purify water, daily requirements for water, you know, what sort of stuff to pick up at the grocery store before you go out in the field. Tons of information, a great read, and it's got pictures. Yeehaw, I dig the pictures. <laughs> so that is your second item that will go great with your Hellfire Bushcraft grill right there. I'm gonna sit this right here because it's nice and thick. It'll stand up on its own. The third item in the basic box is from Grenade Soap Co. It is the Badass Soap and Rope in Napalm. So this one looks a little different than other Grenade Soap Co. Um, soaps. This actually is a Claymore. Check that out. It's like a little miniature Claymore. Front toward enemy. That's your stank. You wanna put the front toward the stank. <laughs> In the back here, it's got, you know, the mine, the M18A1 mine on the back. Really cool. You got your stainless steel lanyard there. But um, a great thing to have in camp, great thing to keep on you is a good bar of soap so that you can keep yourself clean, especially if you're cooking and you're fishing and stuff like that. Because let's face it, sometimes you get that fish stank on your hands and you just can't get it off. This stuff right here works really good. And I really know that it does simply because Daniel and I were at the coast fishing this weekend, testing out some fishing products. We were, <laughs> we were testing out this really cool, it's like an air cannon that shoots your bait way out into the ocean so that you don't have to try to cast it that far. 
and the bait, you have to freeze it like a bullet and you shove it down inside this thing. So needless to say, our hands stunk because it was bait fish and chum and everything else all wrapped up into that frozen bullet, if you will. And uh, this stuff right here came in handy, get it, handy, to get that stank off our hands. But it could be used for anything else. You can, you can use this to help you wash your utensils. You can use this to help you wash your dishes, wash your hands, take a, try to stay clean while you're out in camp, and smell good doing it too. This is great stuff to have in your bag for camp or anything like that, but also at home, make you smell like a real man. You know, you can throw all that freaking dawn and dove and all that crap in the trash. Let your wife bathe with that. You can bathe with this. Stuff's freaking awesome. So next up, and the final item in the basic box is from 511, and it's a hat. We thought this was a really cool hat. A lot of people have been wanting to get hats in the box, and um, this one right here kind of caught our eyes. The 511 tactical hat. It's got a mesh back with, with the uh, snap back on the back. We don't like the Velcro around here. It drives us freaking crazy. So hopefully you like the snap back, but a really nice, comfortable hat. That airs out really good with the mesh right there, especially when it's hot. When we're down here in Georgia, we like to have that mesh back. It's got a skull with some lightning bolts and a dagger going through the middle of it. I think it's pretty freaking sweet. See that spit right there? I'm so freaking happy I'm salivating. Hey, what do you think? It's kind of nice, don't you think? I think I might wear it through the rest of the video. I'm gonna put my, my precious battle box hat down here in the mystery spot. All right, so that is your basic. You got yourself a hat, some Claymore soap right there, the awesome Hellfire Bushcraft Grill, and a book to help you use all this when I mean, you won't cook with your hat, but you look good doing it. So in the advanced box, we have two items this month, and first up is a travel chair from Slack. It's called the Slacker. <laughs> I mean, when you're chilling out in camp in your chair, some people might say you're a slacker, but it's after all the work you do. So it's a tripod chair. Get this thing out of the package here. All right, there we go. So here's your travel chair, your tripod chair from travelchair.com. Boom. So having a nice, comfortable chair is paramount when you're out in the field. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be camping. You can be broke down on the side of the road, don't want to sit inside a hot vehicle. You can be at a you know, tailgate. You got yourself a chair. You can be out fishing. You can be out uh, you know, hunting in a hunting blind or something like that. You always... I can't tell you how many times I've been hunting and I'm hunting with somebody and they say, yeah, go get in this blind or this box stand over there. And the chair absolutely sucks in it. <laughs> it's a long day hunting when you're uncomfortable. So this chair is a great chair to keep in your vehicle, keep in bags, keep by your side at all times because if you're like our buddy Steve, you need something to sit on. And typically he sits on a cooler, but toting a cooler around is kind of tough. This right here is pretty easy to tote around. You got yourself a nice strap right here that you can adjust to make it bigger or smaller so you can tote it over your shoulder or strap it to a pack. It is removable, fastens together with your uh, Velcro there, and it's a really good, nice, woven seat right here. I've got a couple of these. Um, don't have near as nice a seat on them as this right here does. It's nice and thick, it's double stitched, and very durable. So. You may or may not get this color. There's going to be multiple colors that goes out. So um, there's a wide variety of colors. This one here just happens to be kind of a burgundy red color. Really nice chair, very comfortable, something to keep with you, make your life out in the woods or whatever you're doing way more pleasurable. I use it a lot at going like away games, football games and stuff. They got a lot of concrete bleachers here. Sit on this. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, this stuff is ridiculous. It, it, it blew my mind when we were testing it out, and it is called Forge with a J. Thermoplastic tape. This stuff can freaking fix pretty much anything. Like, you can, you can make things with it, you can fix things with it. It's freaking nuts, okay? So it's thermoplastic. They say that it's stronger than steel once you get it where it needs to be and how it needs to be. So it says uses are endless. You can make plugs, pins, splints, belts, bands, straps, hangers, holders, bolts, shackles, pads, clevises, tools, stakes, and more. Not the stakes you eat. You don't want to eat this. Stuff's pretty freaking hard. It's simply a tape. 
and you got a pretty good amount of it there. This stuff is freaking amazing. You got to heat it up. So you can heat it up using simply hot water, a lighter or a torch or some sort of a flame source. You can also use a hair dryer or a heat gun. Anything that creates heat that helps melt this down a little bit. I mean, you could probably even use the exhaust on your vehicle to heat this up or lay it on something hot. When we were testing this out, Steve and I took two pieces of chain and we basically made a link. You just heat it up, it sticks to itself, it turns kind of a clear color. Once it turns back white, it's bonded and it takes a freaking huge amount of force, okay? We drug my truck around with it. You can ball it up into a putty once it's hot and you can form it into whatever you want to. You can form it into a knife. You can form it into um, handles for a knife. Say your handle broke on your knife, you can heat this up, make a new handle. Um, squeeze it where it actually gets your, your handprint in the knife so it fits perfectly for you. You can use it for grips on bows. You can cut this with a, with a knife or a pair of scissors. You can actually split it. Um, it's really, really cool. You're really gonna enjoy making stuff or fixing things with this. For sure. When you're all out of it, you got yourself a nice tin that you can put a fire kit in or, or whatever, put whatever you want in it. It's a great little tin right there. So that is your advanced box. Your forged thermoplastic tape, your chair, and everything in basic. Put that right there. So next up is the pro box. I'm telling you, this thing right here is really freaking sweet, okay? So it's been a while since we've had a nice sharpener. It's been, uh, I can't remember what mission it was, but it was blade care and maintenance. We had the really nice sharpener in there. It's been a while since we've done that. So while we were at Blade Show this year, um, I was walking around and I noticed a crowd around this one guy's booth and he was sharpening people's knives and there was a ton of people there. So of course I went over there to check it out and this is what he had. It's freaking cool. It is let me show it to you. Let me just show it to you. I gotta show it to you. It's from Warthog Sharpeners. It's the V-Sharp Classic 2. This thing right here blew my mind and a lot of others' minds at Blade Show. So, let me open it up. Let me get into it for you. This sharpener right here is so freaking cool. A great sharpener to keep in your kitchen, just to keep, keep your kitchen knives fresh. Keep it in your shop to keep them your, your knives and things like that in your shop, nice and sharp. Keep it in a vehicle, it's durable, it's made out of metal, it's durable, it's gonna last, it's got a rubber bottom on it so it doesn't wanna shift around and slide around on the floor. It's very easy to adjust. Let me show you how it works, okay? Basically a spring action. I'm gonna use my finger right now just to kinda give you an idea. But you run your knife down and it goes out either direction and then snaps back. So what you got is 325 grit side on each one of these. You can take this off, flip it over, put it back, and you've got a finishing steel on this side. So there's your finishing steel, and then on this side is your 325. So as you can see right here, you've got three positions. There's a 30 degree, a 25, and a 20 degree position here. Just gotta be sure you're, you're two uh, sharpening steels are on the same angle right there. So we're at a 25. I'm gonna slide this bad boy back in, set them on the 25. Snap back in. This here is your adjustment to center your blade. Today I've got my Carter Prime from Ontario Knife Company. As you can see, it's a flat blade profile. It's pretty thick up here at the top. Multiple types of knives you can use with this. It's very easy to set up. So basically, you wanna set your knife down where it's just touching both steels, and then you pull this over till it touches your blade and tighten it down. And now it's just as simple as just walking through. You can put your finger down here to hold it if you want. You can hold it right here if you want. You can hold it right here if you want. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn it around so I can hold it like this. You basically just run it down your guide. You don't have to put a lot of pressure. You gotta put enough for it to go, but you just go down and you pull it back to you.
So now I got it switched over to the uh, finishing steel and just keep it up against this guide and just go down with your stroke. So it's as simple as that, folks. Really cool sharpener right here. It's durable, it's gonna last a long time. Again, you can, um, you can buy more uh, of these different grits right here. I believe on the box here somewhere there's, uh, da, 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 da. you can get 270 grit, 325, which it already has, 600 grit, 1,000 grit, and diamond honers. And you can get a case to, that you can put this in as well. So really cool sharpener right here. You can keep this in your kitchen, keep it in your shop. It's small enough to go in the bottom of, of most tackle boxes so you can use it on your fishing knives. Um, great to keep in camp if you're a hunter and you need to keep your knives nice and sharp, but just a pleasure to use, especially when you got a lot of knives like we do. <laughs> so you can sit there and just leisurely sharpen your knives, get them right, and they're ready to go. And then you can just use it just to keep them sharp. You don't really have to reprofile anything. Just before you use a knife, give it three or four swipes and you're good to go. So awesome sharpener right here from Warthog. And that is your pro item from Mission 56. I'll put this back in my pocket before I cut myself with it. So now it's time for the Pro Plus, the knife of the month. And this month is a fixed blade. And I dig fixed blades. Y'all know that, right? Freaking dig fixed blades. And this is something that's very hard to find here in the US. And we're so freaking excited to be able to work with these guys. We've seen these guys at Blade Show. They got really nice knives. And there's one in the box. And I don't think you're ready for it. It's nice. It's gonna look even better in the light. It is from Willis Willisum Copenhagen. <laughs> it is the Despo Large. Check that rascal out. Beautiful fixed blade. It's even more sexy when I get it out of the box. So they call this knife the king of the game. I agree. It's pretty freaking sweet. So this is a full tang fixed blade with milled like CNC milled G10 scales. It's green with black finish. It's got a 90 degree spine right here. Nice jimping and the feel in the hand is amazing. This joker is so freaking nice right here. So it's all eight steel with the G10 scales, with the black and the green G10, just the color contrast really makes this a beautiful knife. Um, you got yourself a lanyard hole back here on the back. Amazing knife, great knife for any sort of bush crafting. It's even thin enough to be a good skinning knife. Very, very freaking sharp with that nice drop point blade right there. Very robust, although it's fairly slim. The, the scales are really slim, but it, you really feel like you, you've got a beast of a knife in your hand. It's so freaking nice. And then here's your sheath. You got your two um, clasps there to hold that. It is a dangler, but you can also take this completely off and you can strap this however you want to Molly, to a backpack, to a strap of a backpack, anything like that. You know, if you like to carry a knife up tight to your chest, very, very sexy knife. Really good capture there. Knife's not gonna fall out. Awesome. From Will <laughs> I wanna say Williamson, but it's not Williamson, it's Willison Copenhagen. I get the last word right, Copenhagen. For you fixed blade lovers out there like me, this is definitely gonna go into your rotation for sure. And bottom line is it's sexy. Having fixed blades and having different varieties and different styles and, and different color combos, different carrying options, I, I enjoy it. It helps me share my love of knives with people when they see I got something unique or I got something different than what they typically see you know, in a store or what they typically think of with a fixed blade. So this definitely fits the bill for that. So that's Mission 56, folks. Awesome box this month. Really cool items in here, especially the Hellfire Bushcraft Grill right here. That's a really cool thing to have so that you can easily cook fish or meat or vegetables or anything like that in a small fire. You don't have to worry about having a big, full, gigantic setup. You got the camp cooking book right here. Awesome book that covers everything from types of fires to basic survival tasks to full-blown recipes out in the wild. 
You got a really nice chair right here, the travel chair from travelchair.com. Comfortable chair, durable, it's gonna last you a lifetime. It's small and compact, easy to carry around with you so that you can take a load off and sit on your butt for a little, a little while and get, you know, what do they call it? Uh, slacker, you can become a slacker by sitting on that. <laughs> then we've got the V-Sharp Classic 2 from Warthog Sharpeners. Awesome sharpener right here. Many, many applications this could be used for from shop to home to out in the field to hunt and camp what have you, great, great sharpener right there. And you can buy more um, types of grits and finishing steels to go with that. We've got the uh, Napalm Claymore Soap from Grenade Soap Co. Awesome soap to keep with you in camp, to keep your hands clean. You can use it to wash dishes, the whole nine. Awesome soap and it's shaped like a Claymore. That's pretty freaking cool. And then on this side, we've got the Forge Thermoplastic Tape. I'm telling you, you need to experiment with this stuff. Try it for all sorts of different things. You're gonna be amazed, it's awesome. Check out their website. They got some pretty cool videos of some of the tests that they've done with it to kind of show how durable it, how durable it is. It's actually pretty freaking fascinating how well that stuff works. You're really gonna enjoy that product there. And of course, the Pro Plus, the knife of the month from William, Williamson, Copenhagen. I'm gonna figure out how to say that name right. I don't, it's not Williamson, it's Williamson, Copenhagen, right there. It's freaking sweet. It's called the Despo. It's sexy. It's black and green. It's freaking glorious. It's got a nice blade on it, nice and sharp. <sighs> You're gonna dig it. So that is mission 56. Put that back right there before I cut myself. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and comment down below. Be sure to hit the notification tab. It's the, it looks like a bell down there. You hit that, you'll get notifications when we upload more videos here on the BattleBox channel. If you want to find out more about BattleBox, you can check us out at BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can see all past missions, all past videos. We've got a shop there where you can buy stuff that we have extra of in stores. It's a freaking amazing website. You're really going to enjoy it. As always, I'll see you guys next time with Mission 57. I want to play with some of this stuff. I think I'll take that. And that. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go play. And I'm going to sharpen my blade. And I'm going to cook some fish. Awesome job. Got to clean this stuff up. Get the video edited. It seems like we're missing something. We're missing. Is that it? We're missing nothing. This is just boxes in there. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Did you forget something? Yeah. I thought I had my hat. I thought I had my hat on. <laughs> and also, you got this freaking 511 hat right here. It's freaking awesome. Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't on the table, man. I, I didn't even think about it. It's so comfy. <laughs> my bad. <laughs>